is KION News Channel 546 at 11. Good evening. Thanks for being here for KION News at 11 tonight. I'm Veronica Macias. And I'm Phil Aldridge. Early Monday morning, North County Fire Protection District responded to a structure fire in Las Lomas. KION's Erica Bratine spoke with a woman who says the flames were getting too close for comfort. Hey, Erica. Hey, Phil. Charcoal wood, burnt cars, and a scarred hillside are all that remains of a five-car garage from a fire that woke up neighbors. Early Monday morning, Vanessa Acevedo started to hear sirens in her sleep before a loud pop woke her. That's when she went to see what was going on in her family's Las Lomas neighborhood. I looked out my window and I saw this fire truck and these sheriffs just on their way here and then there was just these big flames and that's when I started to panic. The 911 call came in just before 6 a.m. Neighbors, including Vanessa, saw the flames starting to move up a small hillside, a worrisome sight for those living in the Las Lomas community, especially given the ongoing drought and abnormally warm weather. We live in between uh, several mountains, and which is a lot of dry brush, and just a couple flames could just incinerate everything. Another concern? How to escape town if a fire were to get out of control. There are only two roads to get in or out that are windy and narrow, with barely enough room to fit Two cars. In addition, there has been ongoing construction on Las Lomas Drive. This is a very um, high populated Latino area, which a lot of them live under the poverty line, which are farm workers. And so we're very grateful that the responders did respond as quickly as they did because they saved a lot of people from being displaced. There were no official evacuations, but for Vanessa and those living in the Las Lomas community, it's a reminder that it doesn't take much for one spark to take off in in the dry field hills. I think it's important that we recognize the conditions we live around and how hard it would be if we ever, if anything did light up and how many people we would be affecting. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Eric Bratin reporting for KIOA News Channel 5 46.